Hi, I'm Brendan Howe here with your TDC Net Tech Tip, giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. Today, I'm in the TDC Net lab talking about Windows XP. Why am I in our lab? Well, this is where most Windows XP computers come. They, they end up breaking uh, or our clients replace them uh, and they come into our lab for, to get recycled. Now, the reason I'm talking about Windows XP, it's been around since 2001. It's the operating system that a lot of, a lot of computers have been powered on uh, for more than a decade. But it's reaching end of life in the next 10 months. But I wanted to spend some time and tell you what that means for you. So, if you don't know what Microsoft XP is, XP is, uh, so it's the operating system just like Windows 7 or Microsoft Vista or Windows 8, which is the new operating system for, for computers. If you turn on your computer, you can look at the start menu, you can see, uh, or when you put in the password screen like the computer behind me, you can see if you're running what version of the operating system that you're running on. So if you have a Windows XP machine or multiple Windows XP machines in your company, you need to get rid of them. You need to plan to get rid of them. A lot of times, the businesses that we, we deal with will have Windows XP machines that are, are still in operation in their business, and for good reason. They might be running software that only works with Windows XP. Well, if that's the case, you should be planning to, to replace or upgrade that software over the next 10 months as well. Here's why. Next April, Microsoft will stop supporting Windows XP. And in, in the Microsoft world, when, you, when they stop supporting something, security updates, patches, that sort of thing, they stop happening for those machines. And Windows XP machines are going to become a big security risk. They're a bigger security risk right now than Windows 7 machines. But in April, as of April next year, they will be a really big security risk for, for your environment. So if you're dealing with large businesses, government organizations, that sort of thing, they may refuse to work with people uh, that have Windows XP in their, um, in their network because it's insecure. Um, you also don't want to have that risk on your network. It's not, it's not good for your business. Uh, it could lead to viruses, hackers, all that sort of thing. So how do you deal with it? Three things that, uh, that we suggest that you do. Number one, do an inventory of all your computers. Uh, if you don't have if you don't have a way of doing this, give us a call. If you're one of our clients, we can just run a report uh, and give you a quick inventory of how many Windows XP machines that you have. Number two, you want a budget to replace them. The name of the game here is making sure that you're not surprised. It's I'm giving you a 10 month warning to let you know that you need to get rid of any XP machines you have in the next month and any software that's running on XP. So that's the third thing. If you have any software that's only running on Windows XP or can only run on Windows XP, you need to plan to either replace it or upgrade it over the next 10 months. So there you go. I don't want you to be surprised. I want you to be prepared. I want you to add this to your budgeting process. Nobody likes big fat surprise IT bills and that's what we're trying to avoid. So this has been your TDC Net Tech Tip. Get rid of those XP machines. I'm Brendan Howe giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. Have a great day.